Hey, welcome to the tutorial for the DVD Ranger software. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to copy a DVD from one disk to another. So we're going to start by opening up the software. And while it's loading, we get to watch the neat little logo spin around in the center of the screen. And here we go. This is the interface we'll be using to perform our task. There's three basic steps. You select your source, which is the DVD you want to copy. Your project, which is the format in which you want to copy it and finally the target which is the destination of the copy. So we're going to start by selecting our source. You can click the drop down menu and choose it from these options. If you want to use a USB or FireWire device then you just pop that in and you select the refresh button right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in my DVD into the DVD drive on my computer and the DVD Ranger software will pick that up in a second. Alright, here it goes ask if you want to create a new copy so we'll do that and as you can see it's automatically populated our source so we're using the Warner Brothers classic grumpy old men okay with our source selected we're going to move on to our project you can choose from the drop down list uh, for this tutorial we're just going to stick with the automatic full DVD and last is our target again you can choose from the drop down but for this tutorial since we're doing a disk to disk copy I'm going to choose my disk drive you can click on the settings to go over this. Since we're doing a disk-to-disk -disk copy, we have both burn and copy settings. The first field for the burn settings is the disk name. Here you can customize what you want the new disk to be called. For this tutorial, we're going to go with My Copy. So instead of Grumpy Old Men, it'll be entitled My Copy. Next is the burn speed. This uh, default setting is what is recommended. You can go with a faster burn speed, but some DVD standalone players might not play the DVD as well if you go with a faster speed. So you'll just have to look at your own hardware to make that determination. The other settings here, we have the enable auto erase. That's if you use an RW blank that the DVD Ranger will automatically erase or format the blank before burning. The verify after burn, it checks if everything went well. Because DVDs are 4 or 5 or more gigabytes, this can be, take a very long time. The eject after burn, the tray will be ejected after the burn is complete. The buffer underrun protection, that will save the entire burn process. This is recommended just in case you want to do a similar burn at a later time. It's automatically saved for you, all of your settings. And then in the copy settings, you can jump direct to menu. This is actually pretty nifty. This will skip the trailers and any of those nagging info screens, and it'll pop right to the menu once you put your DVD in. This may not work on all DVDs, though. Next, you can create a double layer. This will shrink to 8.9 gigabytes instead of 4.5 gigabytes. The next option is you remove region code. This will make the copy region free. Then we have the auto remove DTS. If you don't need the DTS audio, this option will skip this from the copy. This will save a lot of space and also increase the quality of your DVD. Next you can choose to use the custom target size. This way you can choose your own size rather than 4.5 gigabytes or 8.9 gigabytes for the double layer. You can pick your own customized size there. And the last one is the disk border size. This is a deposit buffer, so if the final copy is too big, then you can increase this value. And those are all the settings. So we're going to accept those with OK, and then we're going to hit Start Now. So the selected path is not empty. We're going to delete the existing files, yes. And now we are going through with the pre-scan. After it starts the copy, you'll see some data appear here in this graph. This is the bitrate meter. This shows the original bitrate and the current. There's also the cancel button to abort the process. You can check this checkbox if you want your computer to shut down after the burn is complete. And if not, it'll just go through the process right now. So we're going to let this run. And as you can see, by the time, it'll take about 15 minutes to get through this process. All right, now we finished the copy phase, and we get an error that says no writable medium is present. So I'm going to open up my E drive and put in a writable DVD. 
I'm going to select retry. And it'll take a second to read the new disk I put in. And here we go. We're now in the final phase. It's actually performing the write right now. So you can see the, the progress bar we have here. When this is done, you can select new copy. If you want to make a new copy, you can press cancel at any time to cancel. If you get any kind of error at all during this process, it'll pop up. You can select the save log. That'll save your logs and you can email the DVD Ranger company and they can look into the issue that occurred to possibly provide a fix. So right now we're going to let this burn and then once it's done we'll get back and we'll show you what to do afterwards. Alright, after the burn process is complete, then you'll get this screen, the tray ejected just like we selected, and at this point we can either save the log or we can do a new copy if we want to make a new copy but we're going to be done for right now so I'm going to select done and now we're back at this main interface one final feature that this uh, software has we're going to go over in this tutorial is the reporting bug feature you can click on this little bug guy right here and that will pull up the bug report so I'm just going to create a sample bug report let's say something went wrong with a certain title we can fill this out and send this to the DVD Ranger company so they can look into it and come up with a solution. So the title was Grumpy or Old Men. Type in a dummy barcode. Just test the dummy email address. We had automated full, region one. And this would be the uh, description. See if I can type it right. There we go. Hit send now. You get a little thank you message. That means your bug was submitted, and they will look into it and get back with you. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and have fun.